Good morning from Hong Kong guys. So this is the next trip on our airclipstraveler.com Asia tour. Uh, has been a bit of a rainy day that I spent here in Hong Kong and now it's already time to leave for the next flight and that's going to be a ride on the Royal Brunei Airbus A320 today. Thank you very much for joining me again. I'm glad you're with me. We are now on the way to the airport. The weather has cleared up a little bit while I change dress for a bit more comfortable flight. Um, it's a 40 minutes drive from downtown to Terminal 1 where Royal Brunei is uh, gonna depart today and uh, we're driving through all these high rises here in Hong Kong. Um, space is a huge limitation of the city being surrounded by mountains and uh, highly populated uh, so there's many high-rises here, um, many apartment buildings and it's a very interesting drive actually um, all, all along the water, the base and through the high-rise building. It's a few minutes to go and we'll be there. Here we are, Hong Kong Chep Lap Kok Airport, not the smallest one. Uh, let me just find the check-in now and then we go for a trip to Brunei and actually um, This time you're gonna see two flights in a row and in between um, If we have a chance we will also have a look a little bit at the destination of Brunei to make it more interesting So on the airclipstraveler.com Asia tour 2018 This is a, a longer trip and uh, I hope you enjoy Everything here is huge, just like the satellite as well. And here in the backdrop, uh, you can see on top, on the first level, that's the uh, Hong Kong Airlines lounge. Let's have a look if we can get a little bite there, maybe. So our aircraft is already on the way from Brunei into Hong Kong, as I'm spending some time in the lounge over here. Uh, the aircraft today is going to be Victor 8 Romeo Bravo Charlie which is very interesting because it is an Airbus A320 Neo and it is almost factory new. It is not even two months old. It has been delivered from the factory in Toulouse um, on the 27th of July 2018. Now it's 25th of September so it's really really new. Uh, that should be interesting. I can already smell the new car smell, although the airplane hasn't even landed yet. So, in the meanwhile, um, spending time in the Hong Kong Airlines lounge is something pleasant. You can see in the background here, um, there's an excellent view from the uh, restaurant facility of this lounge. And um, it's not even that. You have a um, really, really good buffet, um, highest, highest standard possible is really excellent you have super nice waiting areas dining areas you have massage chairs and uh, it is not very full as well so it's really the perfect setup for um, relaxed waiting time and a good meal and that's what I'm having right now here you can see our Airbus A320 Neo ready at the gate it was an on-time arrival to uh, Hong Kong Airport um, looks nice in the sun at gate 210 you can already see these uh, huge a320 neo engines this airplane features the the latest uh, paint scheme still with yellow as the dominating color but uh, more white um, as it's so popular these days um, the fleet of uh, Royal Brunei Airlines has quite some history the airline has been founded in 1974 with an initial two Boeing 737-200 aircraft that were um, delivered factory new. And then there have been 737-200 quick change, um, 727s, uh, 757s, 767-200, 300, followed by 777-200 until um, they changed to the modern uh, 787 Dreamliner for their present fleet today. Also the fleet has seen um, Fokker 50 aircraft in history, Fokker 100 aircraft um, and um, even Donier 228 aircraft were um, operated in cooperation with other airlines wearing Royal Brunei colors. <clears throat> now the fleet is harmonized 
the narrow body fleet is A320 family to include um, 320 CO and, um, and NEO and the long haul fleet um, with London being the only real long haul destination nowadays um, it's been served with a Boeing 787 Dreamliner fleet. I'm just trying out the massage chair and I have to say it's good. It's a nice way to spend your time in a lounge, actually. <laughs> Provided I survive this, it's nice. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I have still any sort of control over my body. The chair has basically eaten me up here. But it feels like it could kill me easily, but uh, so far it's still very nice, I have to say. Oh. Now I cannot even move my left hand anymore. But what for would I need a left hand right now? Uh, my feet. <laughs> I hope boarding starts soon. <laughs> Jesus. my back now. Ah, I wonder if ever someone didn't make it out of this chair anymore and I have the feeling that that happens <laughs> possibly every day. Man that really hurts <laughs> but I can't move. I managed to free my left ah, oh, my left hand now but uh, no my right hand is trapped and my hands are not the problem right now because this machine is simply breaking my lower back. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's smart because after this chair you will appreciate every chair no matter how small or hard it is so it's uh, it's actually a good conditioning of the passenger <laughs> my feet <laughs> don't, don't if you ever come across this lounge don't try it uh. please remain seated until the next boarding call I survived that massage chair and made it to the gate. Boarding has already started so we can just go straight in and have a look and have a smell of that brand new airframe. Very cozy seats in business class and yes, it does smell like a new airplane just being two months old. Let's enjoy this one. Thank you very much. I like to go for the water. Please. Water for you. Enjoy your drink. Thank you very Welcome. much. You can see all this um, stylish branding here on the seats. All the interior is kept in light brown, beige uh, colors. Really, really nice and good fit to the uh, to the yellow on the outside and of the logo. Um, it's really a lovely first impression. Also. Um, interesting uh, to see the uh, the other two cabins uh, you hardly ever see three classes of service on a narrow body aircraft but here you do you have uh, economy in the very rear then you have a premium economy with an upgraded in-flight product and you have business class here in front but all the classes here look really really nice you have the PTVs um, in the other two classes as well and they're really really good leg room and uh, I'm sure a good in-flight product as well. Hi, I'm going to raise our menu board. I'll just get the plate to get your drinks order and you'll see. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. A very good afternoon to our dear guests. Your cabin services officer on this flight is Isma. Welcome on board Royal Brunei Airlines flight VI-636 from Hong Kong to Bandar Sri Begawan. The aircraft is under the command of Captain Mahdini and the flight time is 2 hours and 45 minutes. We would like to extend a special welcome to our Royal Skies member and guests from Hong Kong Airlines. 
our coach share partner on this flight. For your safety, kindly place your hand luggage in the overhead compartment. For our guests seated in economy class, you may also place them under the seat in front of you. All portable electronic devices must now be selected to flight mode. Switch off and unplug for takeoff and landing. Please be reminded that smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is strictly prohibited throughout this flight. We would like to we will also like to remind you to take care of your your personal belongings and valuable items at all times. Thank you. So we are lining up the runway now, um, really nicely ahead of schedule, 10 minutes earlier than scheduled. Already the boarding commenced um, uh, something like um, 35 minutes before departure. In Europe, you wouldn't even have the uh, incoming aircraft uh, at the gate uh, that that much time before takeoff. That's great. So we are really looking for an on-time arrival too into Bandar bigger one. But now let's get ready for the takeoff run. It was hazy in Hong Kong, but still we got some really nice views uh, of the city, so I consider that really lucky. 
and also of course the Neo engines they work really silently and with quite some power so uh, it was an enjoyable takeoff for me Now that I've already told you a little bit about the history of uh, Royal Brunei Airlines, um, I find it uh, kind of funny to find again in the in-flight magazine um, a wrap-up of the history and uh, there we can even see uh, 737-200, the first aircraft operated by that airline in the very original first color scheme which was a bit more to the orange and uh, they provide a timeline here where you can follow the different steps of development of the airline. Very interesting. I prefer the option of the low calorie meal. Uh, you're eating so much when traveling that uh, I rather look into these uh, details and uh, yeah, why not? It looks tasty. That's the starter here, and I sell it. I'm giving it a try. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we go. A nice low calorie meal. Whoa, that's really a generous plate. Uh, it's half a salmon on it. Uh, really large in size, so I'm not gonna leave this airplane being hungry for sure. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, speaking, my name is Budini. On behalf of my colleagues, the first officer, uh, Wes Young, cabin service officer, uh, is my address of the crew. Welcome aboard of Ram Flight PI 636, ever service from uh, Hong Kong to Bandar Seri Bengawan. We are now maintaining 37,000 feet cruising altitude, and uh, weather was on route. We're expecting good flying condition. With the forecast for Bandar Seri Bengawan today, we're expecting an afternoon with 30 degrees Celsius. We'll be landing at traffic control at 25 minutes past 5 in the afternoon local time. And I'll come back to the descent with more for details for the update. So for now, it's about the legs and enjoy the flight. Let's have a look at the in-flight entertainment that is provided here on board. Uh, we got this uh, remote control here, pretty common, easy to navigate. And uh, let me just uh, quickly go through the program here to get a better idea on how we could spend the time. So the first uh, section is the movie section. If I just briefly go into it, uh, you can see a wide selection of movies. Um, I have to mention that the screen is brilliant. It has really super high resolution and a very good picture. Um, of course, it's a brand new aircraft, not even two months old. Now browsing through all the films you can see that program uh, is, is more what you, what you would normally expect and find on an intercontinental flight and not on a short haul flight as today. So that's an excellent choice of films. Then uh, we go into the uh, TV section of the flight entertainment program and it's the same picture here. You find the full seasons of many, many, many programs it's even too many to browse through all of them now. Uh, definitely it's enough, uh, enough material to spend uh, one or the other week here on board and uh, a bit too much for a short haul flight, but just giving us a huge choice here. In the game section, like in the movies and TV section, you find uh, quite a variety of games you can play with your uh, remote control here. now looks comfortable but we'll see oh wow oh, that's superb yeah? it's absolutely above standards really huge recline although we are located right in front of the cabin divider wall here really really generous space very nice Here we are in the rear 
of the aircraft having a look into the economy cabin. Um, again, as you can see, all very nicely equipped with um, personal TV screens. Service has just been finished. And uh, what the flight attendants explained to me is that in the uh, premium economy, which is in front of the first cabin divider that you might be able to spot uh, behind me, um, there is a guaranteed choice of two different meals. Um, um, this time it was uh, chicken, uh, rice or beef. And as they go further to the rear, um, into the economy class, there is also the choice as far as they get, um, as far as the choice lasts. Um, also, in the premium economy part, there's a bit more legroom, uh, but still here in economy class, legroom is excellent, and uh, it's not, it's not the most full flight I've ever seen today, uh, which even increases the comfort a little bit, I guess. So overall, it's a really, really nice product. Now here in business class, everybody is relaxing and enjoying the flight. Just one additional thing that I found out on the way back uh, from the economy cabin is that on each and every seat in economy, you do have power sockets for USB to charge your devices, which really brings it uh, to a level which would be considered business class seating on a short haul flight, for example, in Europe. All you can see outside, water. So we just left Hong Kong southbound, pretty much flew south all the way um, across the ocean, the Yellow Sea. Um, towards the island of Borneo uh, and straight in the north of Borneo Island is where um, the Sultanate of Brunei is located. Well, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, flight captain speaking. A short answer this and what does go on? Switch over control. We'll be landing at 20, 22 minutes past five in the afternoon local time. We'll take the phone for us to one. We're expecting one afternoon with 30 degrees Celsius. Once again, on behalf of the United rest of the crew, thank you for flying with us and flash into the flight. Welcome to Brunei Darussalam where the local time is 24 minutes past 5 in the afternoon and the upset temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to final stop and the fastened seatbelt time switch off. 
Before leaving the aircraft, please ensure you have checked your seat pocket and take all your belongings with you. Do take extra care when opening the overhead compartment. If you have your mobile phone with you, you may now use it. Please contact a member of our ground staff if you require any assistance. Thank you for choosing to fly with Royal Brunei Airlines and Hong Kong Airlines Code Share Flight. We look forward to seeing you again in the near future. Here we are in Brunei. Super good experience, I have to say. Really nice flight, really nice in flight product, but also on top of all the hardware that we've seen on board, and it was really good. I must say that the crew was super friendly, very good ambassadors of their country. That's my first impression of Brunei, I have to say. Really good, can hardly be any better. Now, I'm curious to see. Um, quite some meetings coming up but maybe I have short time in, the, in between to see something so uh, let's see if we experience a little bit of Brunei at least during this short turnaround of only one day so what you can see there in the backdrop that's the airport terminal of Brunei and then here in the backdrop just behind me that's the new airport mosque of Brunei International Airport Really, that's already a lot of culture expecting us straight after arrival. Very nice, beautiful looking and it's very, very hot and pleasant here. Beautiful flowers, so I call that a good start. I'm on a short drive now from the airport to the hotel and um, I think everything here has relatively short distances. The driver just told me that if you want to go from one border of the country to the far other end of the country it would only take you one and a half hours by car. Also there's only less than half a million people living here. Um, that coupled with the obvious friendliness of everybody that I met here in my few minutes after um, arriving to Brunei really makes it a pleasant experience so far. Now just after waking up uh, I have some one and a half hours for breakfast and getting myself ready for the working day actually the most important part for me for being here and um, instead of going to breakfast I decided to run out of the hotel and um, find the central mosque uh, which is kind of the major landmark here in Brunei the Omar Ali uh, I cannot remember the second the third name mosque and uh, actually since everything is pretty small here in Brunei it wasn't a very far walk and here it is really a super beautiful place and since I got that one touristic hour here um, being in Brunei of course I felt the need to dress up appropriately and to look like a tourist and I think I managed so here we go, the meetings of the day are finished and I still got uh, an hour or two left in the afternoon and lucky enough I met Eric, this kind gentleman over here and Eric takes us for a short tour around Brunei and uh, first of all we're gonna start with a little boat tour to the mangroves and hopefully we're gonna see some wildlife there as well, that's actually why I would like to try that. So. We will find that out. Okay guys, so off we go. That's our new friend Tom over here and we're rocketing over the water. And the main reason why we have a life vest on is not that we swim better, it's just that we don't taste that good anymore for the crocodiles. Simple. Now we are going 
into the mangroves um, in order to see uh, check for the wildlife here yeah. and it's not far it's just basically a few hundred meters out of the city where the, the pure jungle starts spotted the first crocodile but as it looks it's sneaked away for the time being and we continue to look for another chance where do we have the monkey you see that he's here you see that yes there we got them yeah. with the baby this is the proboscis monkey. So that's the Borneo monkey, right? It's grooming the baby. Oh yeah. There we got a baby monkey. The mother is grooming the baby. Mother is grooming the baby. That's kind of the mother. Suddenly we're in the middle of the jungle here. Unbelievable. Hello, good evening. Uh, here we are at the mangrove forest uh, where we are uh, earlier on we saw there's a lot of uh, proboscis monkey in one of the endemic species of monkey in Borneo Island. Uh, beside proboscis monkey or Nasilus larvatus, we, are, we have another species of monkey which is uh, the long tail maca monkey and another species is very rare which is the pigtail monkey or the crab eaters monkey. So we have more monkeys over here. It's, it's kind of a weird feeling for me considering the fact that um, I've been uh, just in airplanes and hotels for the past week in a very sterile environment suddenly to find yourself um, in the middle of the jungle after some uh, business meetings is something exotic and appreciated. So we have it here, you can see it on top of the branch it's actually nicely camouflaged, it's not so easy to see it, but right in the middle of the picture you can see it lying on the branch. It's a bit like a, it's a reptile, a bit like a Komodo. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about this reptile that we've just seen, please? Well, this is one of the uh, uh, reptile that Occasionally or normally uh, we've seen them a lot during these uh, uh, mangrove trips. They're normally crawling at the ground and sometimes doesn't bother you because no people around here uh, dare to harm them. So that's why they just live freely. We call it monitor lizard. So now we got another crocodile here. And finally we can really see it under the log where you have it. Now it's shaken up a little bit by our waves. There it's moving. Really nice. Hello Mr. Crocodile. Welcome to Airclips. You're an official Airclips traveler now. Okay, it's trying to hide underwater. This is not too successful if you ask me. Super nice. Wow, okay. So, time to say goodbye to the guys. <laughs> Our first stop here is the beautiful Jame Mosque in Brunei. Um, it's really, really um, great to look at uh, in this uh, sunset period. And uh, actually, I wanted to give you some more details about 
when it was built, how it was built, you know, but I can't remember and why should I? Because still we have our expert Eric with us and Hello. he can give us the details. Hi, uh, this is Jame Asri Hassanil Bolkia Mosque. This is actually founded by the 29th Sultan of Brunei, Sultan Haji Hassan. His Majesty Sultan Haji Sanal Bolkiam is a Dean Wadawla and Sultan, Sultan and Yang Depertuan Negara Brunei Darussalam. Uh, he was built at from 1888, sorry, 1988 and completely built at 1992 in commemorate His Majesty to celebrate his Silver Jubilee celebrations. The beautiful about this mosque, it was founded his majesty and it, as a gift to the country to Brunei Darussalam and the mosque itself also carry out a meaning of a strong Islamic faith in Brunei Darussalam thank you very much so thanks a lot Eric uh, I guess you understand why I wasn't able to memorize all these details and names uh, within less than uh, three hours of uh, learning so now we got all the details Here we are, back to Brunei International Airport, um, looking at the second flight on uh, Royal Brunei Airlines and I invite you to join me on that one as well. Uh, to sum up my short stay here, um, it was very pleasant for me. First of all, it was uh, the first and only country um, on this Asia tour that I haven't uh, visited um, a dozen times before. Um, it really exceeded my expectations. It very very nice people um, very exotic place small calm at the same time um, very very safe so um, if you want to go to Southeast Asia you should really consider paying a visit to Brunei as well it's a great addition to any itinerary in the area and if you want our friend Eric that you met yesterday that uh, showed us around on the boat you can find his contact details um, in the video description here and you can book him for your tour as well. It's recommended. He's a great guy, really fun um, to spend some time with. Now let's go to the terminal and see whether our flight departs on time. Already in the check-in area you have a premier lounge for business class passengers. Um, right in the small terminal you see these uh, cozy seats where you could spend your time waiting. However, there's absolutely no need to wait because you're the first in line anyway once you come here. That was fast, easy and friendly and what I found out that today we are flying on a classic A320, not on a Neo, which obviously uh, nicely complements the Neo that we had on the way coming here. Now I'm heading uh, towards the uh, lounge. I always uh, appreciate um, trying an airline lounge at its main operational base, just as we have it here. Still one and a half hours to go until the departure of the flight. So um, I could really um, spend the time in the lounge now. Um, however, maybe I should think about spending my time um, thinking about how I could get this nice Dreamliner model into my carry-on luggage without anybody noticing it. I think I should spend my time on that idea actually. Not sure if it works however. Unfortunately. So here we are now in the Royal Brunei lounge as you can see nicely at the back uh, on the marble wall there and um, this friendly lady has just welcomed me. Okay. Welcome sir, welcome to Sky Lounge, Business Class Sky Lounge. Thank you very much. So which services can I find here? Okay, we have a uh, business class lounge here. It's a a la carte one and business is a sky lounge uh, buffet one. Very nice. Thank you very much. We'll check both sides out, I guess. So here we are in the a la carte area. Um, actually looks like a Michelin star restaurant. 
I'm really curious to find out more about this area because normally that kind of lounge service you would find it in the area of uh, first class on leading airlines and not uh, offered as a service for business class flying but sounds great nothing against it no objections so let's have a look at the menu now here we go the right thing for the time of the day there's a breakfast menu with a huge choice all the good coffee stuff as well since unfortunately i just had a breakfast and i only want to try i think i go for the cheese selection here yep let's give that one a try so that's a nice cheese plate nice dining option here really really quiet nobody here um, unfortunately again i'm not too hungry I had a try and it's a very good product in here. Before the flight leaves I want to check out the other part of the lounge as well with a buffet section just to have a quick look there. It's a very nice buffet area also not too much going on here. And there's a, a gaming, gaming zone and a kids zone and let's... Jesus Christ, forget about the Dreamliner model. Now we are getting into the right corner here. Whoo! I consider this plane so much better than the Dreamliner and also it could fit a bit better into my carry-on bag. Hmm. Wow. I mean, if that would be for sale, I would consider buying it. Uh, I guess it's not. A very classy Boeing 737-200. The first airplane that um, Royal Brunei took into service in 1975 on their inauguration. Here we are in the CO A320 and it looks equally nice like the Neo that we had yesterday. Really good seats as well. So if you had expected something old or outdated on the classic A320 in comparison to the Neo, nope, this is almost a brand new aircraft as well. It's only three years old, was manufactured in September um, 2015 um, in Hamburg, Germany and uh, therefore it's, it appears like a new aircraft as well. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. I will. Hey, good morning uh, to our dear guests. Welcome on board to our flight I-7312 Jakarta. We would like also to extend our warm welcome to our business class guests, Royal Sky's members and guests from Karunda Airlines, our Koshay flight, but our flight on <laughs> I'm Haji Adi, your cabin services office on this flight and for the safety. Having placed all hand luggage in the main compartments for our guests in economy, you may also place them under the seat in front of you. All portable electronic devices must now be selected to flight mode, switch off and unplug for takeoff and landing. Smoking and the use of electronic secrets is strictly prohibited throughout the flight. Please take care of your belongings at all times. Thank you. It's only a very short taxi distance from the terminal. They've just changed uh, runway directions, so um, we will um, soon be taking off now. We've just been passing the uh, maintenance area of Royal Brunei, where we could see two of their um, Boeing 787 Dreamliner flagships um, receiving some maintenance, as well as the the other special painted uh, A320 CU with a. A uh, little bit touch of golden color on it, and now we are ready for takeoff. 
Let's have a good one. to show you the business class and the premium economy class aboard this flight it's because I'm all alone here in front and that means that I'm taken great care of for sure Thank you very much and some nice nuts Thank you very much Thanks a lot I do enjoy Classic H320, the um, individual video screens in business class are not located in the uh, previous seat's um, backrest but in the uh, armrests of your own seat. <coughs> well, not in this one as it looks, there was a table. But um, let me look to the other side and uh, there we should be able to find it. Looks like that, yes. So you see, this is not rehearsed. Uh, here we go. Good morning, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Zanon speaking from the flight deck. Once again, we have a call for Brunei Airlines. Warm up on board, December 320 Cup. Flight BI 735, good morning, service Brunei direct to Jakarta. We made a flight deck is uh, first of uh, Leighton Edison. In charge of the camp this morning is Adi Diwana. Flight time just under 2 hours and 5 minutes, cruising initially at 32,000 feet. We now establish a refuse at 32,000 feet, roughly about 150 miles to the southeast of Brunei Airport. Routing today will take us on a more direct route straight across uh, the island of Borneo all the way to Jakarta. Focus on weather expected to be uh, generally fine all the way to Jakarta. In the focus arrival on weather for Jakarta. Expecting a partly cloudy afternoon, slightly hazy with a ground temperature of 31 degrees Celsius. Landing and disembarking the aircraft at Sukarno Hatta Jakarta International Airport. Roughly about 10 minutes ahead of schedule, that around 10 minutes past 12 in the afternoon local time. There is a one hour time change to Green and Jakarta, local time now showing 21 minutes past 10 in the morning. The implementation will talk to you again as commands are descending to Jakarta with an updated arrival time, also the latest weather there. It's a little bit bumpy uh, in this phase of the flight, so as long as the seatbelt signs are not switched on again, let me just uh, test the recline on the comfort of the seats, uh, both in business class and economy class. Off we go.
So again, a very nice recline and business class footrest goes way up and really allows for a good sleep. Uh, but not during our two hours flight time today for sure. That's too little. Also here in premium economy, the seat recline is really generous. Uh, let's just have a look. So that's uh, a lot more than you would find on um, most um, economy class products um, in short haul service in Europe or North America, for example. Crossing the island of Borneo all the way from the north to the south, you can definitely see a lot of jungle down there. And after my jungle excursion of yesterday with all those monkeys and alligators and funny birds, I can only imagine all the creatures that will be right under us, right below us uh, in this very moment. Must be really something and actually makes me want to go down there right now have a little jungle hiking. Unfortunately, only got a few hours ahead at Jakarta airport for a meeting and then I will have to take the next flight straight away heading off to Thailand. Bad luck. My meal is gonna come any moment now. I'm barely hungry, but at the same time, I cannot resist looking forward to some good Asian food uh, on board here, some nice tastes. Um, let me just think a moment about um, the actual utilization of this very airframe. I just checked it before departure. Um, the airplane came in on a revenue flight from Kota Kinabalu, um, something like a 50 minute uh, regional flight. Um, and uh, it came out of the night stop from there um, and throughout all the week, all the past days, it has done similar routings. So um, yesterday um, it went in the morning, Kota Kinabalu, in the evening into the night stop, Kota Kinabalu, and uh, in, the, in the meanwhile it did a, it did a longer stretch to Shanghai um, and all the previous days it was like that. So this is how they keep their aircraft busy here. Uh, once this airframe is coming back from Jakarta today, again it's, it will be going into a night stop um, on a shorter um, distance flight. guys might find that offensive here um, this is not only an airplane that has been finally assembled in Germany that's probably the way to put it they also do serve German butter on this plane what a combination can see the southern coast of Borneo down there that means that we've made a bit more than half of our journey and the rest will be mainly over water and um, the Borneo part was really nice to watch really looked like unspoiled jungle all over and again after the nice excursion of yesterday my head is full of imagination about all these colorful creatures and the beautiful nature and wildlife uh, that we must have been over flying there really tempting to get back there for a holiday or something. 
morning, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Zona speaking for the flight deck. Just started to descend to uh, Jakarta. We're roughly about uh, 120 miles to the northeast of Jakarta Airport. Position of the aircraft was spread in landing on the uh, southwesterly facing runway this afternoon. Just got latest weather from uh, Jakarta. It's expected a partly cloudy afternoon, slightly hazy. Ground temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. Subject to any delays on arrival, we'll expected to be landing within the next uh, 25 minutes time and should have to describe the aircraft within 5 minutes of landing. That should put us in stand at Jakarta, Sukarno Hatta International Airport, roughly about uh, 10 to 15 minutes out of schedule at around 5 minutes past 12 in the afternoon local time. Local time now showing 11.34 in the morning. Last but not least, we have to cruise in a pleasure having you on board and we look forward to seeing you again in the near future. As you just heard, approach is about to begin, so time for me to say goodbye and thank you very much for joining me on this trip. Um, obviously, there is a few questions um, remaining unanswered. Um, first of all, how do I get back to Brunei the fastest way? This story needs to be continued. Uh, second question, how can I get such a beautiful Royal Brunei Boeing 737-200 model? that I had to leave behind in the lounge. So, I hope I will continue to that place. It's really worthwhile doing it. And um, there's one uh, personal message to um, all the kind people of Royal Brunei and beyond that I met during these uh, two days here, Trima Kasi. at Sukarno Hatta International Airport, Jakarta, where the local time is 10 minutes past 12 noon. And the outside temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. Please remain seated with your single fasten until the aircraft has come to a final stop and the fasten symbol sign is switched off. Before leaving the aircraft, please ensure you have checked your seat pocket and take all personal belongings with you. Do take extra care when opening the overhead compartment. If you have your mobile phone with you, you may now use it. Please contact a member of our ground staff if you require any assistance. Thank you for choosing to fly with Royal Brunei Airlines and Garuda Airlines Scotiabank flight. We look forward to seeing you again in the near future. Thank you. Captain, this is Hans Weiss in Crosscheck. 